so it's that time of year and uh, this is my first video looking at the AQA paper one a level chemistry paper for 2025 and these are just a few of my predictions and my advice on the topics that maybe you should be prioritizing now as always we're just talking about some general things so I'm going to talk about what we can expect from every paper one so the topics that come up and that are worth the most marks because we know should know it's inorganic and physical chemistry the only chemi physical chemistry that's not really in paper one is your sort of kinetics and rates other than that there are certain topics that are worth a lot more marks than others it doesn't mean that you shouldn't revise everything but this will hopefully help you think about your priorities and then I will also look at some trends as to things that have maybe not come up so recently that might be due to come up this year. Remember, as always, they are predictions. Please make sure that you do as much revision as you can. So topics that are worth the most marks in paper one for AQA. Transition metals and aqueous ions every single year are worth loads and loads of marks. So please make sure that you revise them thoroughly as long with acids and bases. So we're talking pH calculations for weak acids, strong acids, strong bases. Make sure you know your KW and also mixtures and buffers. Amount of substance obviously comes through every single paper. You need to know your moles, your calculations, especially things like titrations. Atomic structure will usually come up and we'll talk about the subtopics within that in a second. Equilibria, Kc and Kp all the time and periodic trends. So periodicity means period three elements and it also means group two and group seven. Uh, group two in particular comes up a lot so those are very big topics and sometimes that can leave us a bit like what should we be revising so always 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 of course you'll notice that time of flight mass spectroscopy comes up every single time as do born harbor cycles so make sure you are confident with those the good thing about both of those is that they are relatively predictable topics so if you do lots and lots of past paper practice, you should be able to get to grips with them. KC and KP, again, every single year, loads of KC and KP calculations. Titration calculations. So make sure that you can do hydrated salts in particular. So that's with your N or X H2O. Most of the titrations are longer questions involving dissolving a solid, uh, working out the moles, there was uh, several steps to the calculation, so practice lots of those. And transition metal reactions, so there's always going to be something about ligand exchange, about acid base reactions of transition metals as well. And periodicity, as we said, comes up every time. That will also cover things like ionization energy trends, uh, melting and boiling points trends as well so prediction wise these are more specific topics that not only come up every year anyway but also maybe some things smaller areas um, that are just my not just a hunch but based on looking at past papers as well so it's partly just my feeling of you know looking at the papers every year but it's also a little bit of analysis a bit of spreadsheets working out what things might come up so i particularly think uh, there was an emphasis on the catalysis involving transition metals last year and that this year we might be more about our definitions so um, related to their electron configuration um, and possibly also the acidity of transition metal complexes i think that obviously kc is going to come up in at least one of the papers this year because it could come up in paper one paper two or paper three but i also think some relation to le chatelier's principle so just the idea of an equilibrium shifting 
backwards and forwards is very likely as well, possibly in a longer answer question. Period three elements are particularly the reactions of their oxides. So for example, the trends between like the metal oxides uh, behaving as bases, non-metal oxides behaving as acids. That's something that often I think catches students out a bit with AQA. I think in terms of titrations, I've already mentioned it's very likely to be a hydrated salt. And I think it's likely to include a manganate titration. So that's potassium manganate, that's your purple oxidizing agent that can be used to titrate iron, but could also be used to titrate oxalate or oxalic acid, which is your ethane dioate. So have a little practice of some of those. Um, and electrochemical cells, I think particularly in relation to experimental stuff. So don't think that experiments only come up in paper three, although paper three has got a bigger practical basis. Paper one, you could have experimental questions about titrations, experimental questions about electrochemical cells, especially. So things like how to set up, drawing the diagram, that kind of thing, uh, and the conditions that you need to measure your cell EMF. Um, and then on an experimental theme as well, you can get enthalpy questions in paper one. The enthalpy change questions tend to be related more to the entropy, delta G, that kind of thing, and lattice enthalpy. And I think particularly more of the theory of lattice enthalpy. So comparing different lattice enthalpies between different compounds, maybe comparing experimental versus theoretical lattice enthalpy and linking it to dissolving hydration and solution. So make sure as well as your calculations involving lattice energy and delta G that you can also explain those things or write a little bit more like compare different lattice enthalpies for different compounds. Okay so that's my thoughts on AQA paper one. Uh, I hope it goes well for you. If you're looking for extra resources um, my website's got free retrieval practice quizzes and a little section on practice questions and walkthroughs. For paper one, there's a good section on bonding and energetics, has cycles, enthalpy changes, um, and there's loads of stuff on calculations there as well. And a lot of those questions have video walkthroughs. I've also got a set of multiple choice questions, not so much for paper one because there aren't any, but it's more actually just to generally revise from. Um, some of my paid resources, I've got a half term course coming up next Tuesday on the 27th of May for AQA. There's a few spaces on that. Uh, it's a really small group course. It's an intensive revision day. Um, and when you sign up for that, you also get as part of that my masterclass revision packages. Now, these are recorded lessons. So you've got six day one, six hour one day course. Recorded lessons, a lot of students don't realise that's only £5 per month. It's currently the 21st of May when I'm putting this video out. So you only need one month if you're taking A-levels this year. So for £5, you can actually get yourself about 22 or 23 videos of different topics, including Born Harbour Cycles, including Redox, including Cells, including... Um, your different loads and loads of stuff on calculations as well, uh, including transition metals. I've got basically sets of practice questions to help you get everything in order. And then each of the classes is an hour long exam masterclass that looks at exam technique and specific things that you should be working on. So five pounds gets you one month's access to all of those materials and last year's predicted papers with walkthroughs, which you can use as practice questions. If you wanted to sign up to the May half term course, you will also be automatically given a place on my pre-exam classes. My pre-exam classes are two days before each exam. So if you missed the May half term course, you can still sign up for those. It's only £35 and that's four hours of classes. So do a 90 minute class before paper one, a 90 minute class before paper two, and then an hour before paper three, and that's because we'll have already covered a lot in the previous. All of these things are recorded 
if you only want recorded access, if you don't want to be in the live class uh, interacting and asking questions, it's only £25. So £25 gets you all of the masterclass revision packages and all of the recordings for this year's stuff. So the masterclass stuff is just general topic based and then the May half term course and the pre-exam classes are much more focused on you know, getting really ready for this year. So they're more new material. And of course, you've got last year's predicted papers and the year before because I've been making them for three years now. And this year's 2025 predicted papers are out if you want to use those as a practice for paper one. Um, I've got a little video coming up where I talk about predicted papers in case you're thinking, what are they all about? Um, do I really need them? Where I talk about some pros and cons and things. I've also got a whole booklet of practice questions uh, for extended response, like six marker, eight marker questions, and for calculations as well. Really, really helpful for paper one. And that's only like 4 dollars So check out my website if you haven't really been there before or if you've been putting it off because you could be missing out on some really good value and free resources that could be helping you for your A-level chemistry. Good luck!